until the score is on the board. Now, now, there is a chance for FaZe. And I saw Roban, he had his sheets, you know, he had his papers there. A lot of writing on those papers, Anders. Uh, you know that they've been doing their homework. So no can doubt. they execute now on the fly, live here in Copenhagen against Heroic? Oh, buddy. Ooh. Well, that did not work. <laughs> they <laughs> caught him, and now they're coming back out. What a crazy pistol round. They're running into twist, though. Can he land another headshot? He's got a couple of bullets left, and that buys time. Enough for a reload. Stan will take him down eventually, but now Rain has shown up. I can't believe that FaZe are actually turning this around, or at least were. It is still a two-on-two. Kadian sneaking up, and he's going to be able to get that kill on Kerrigan, leaving Rain on his own. One versus two. A lot of time. The bomb is in plain sight in front of him. Moving around to try and see if he can catch anyone. Oh, but the knife. Oh, wait. He could have been dead already. I can't believe that he lived through that. I think everyone was so surprised out there that no one actually got the kill. But eventually, Heroic will win the round. That is that is a good little... That's a microcosm of... Just how versatile heroic can be on this map. Yeah, talk about uh, getting just caught with your pants down there from Brokey. He just, he had nowhere to go. He was stuck in the vents. He was never expecting heroic to swarm him like that. And from there, it's just all out of control. Twisted the best that he could. Rain did as well. But very quick round coming in from heroic. Again, keeping that pace. This is a team that doesn't necessarily need to always go for the standard stuff running down the clock. They will turn up the aggression early in the round like we just saw. And like we saw plenty of times on Mirage, which I really love to see. It's good to show a variety in your playbook, and that's what Heroic are really strong at. They can play slow, they can play default, but they're also comfortable turning up the aggression and playing a faster pace, and that can really throw some opponents off guard. It's, imagine calling all the communication from FaZe inside of that pistol, and we're like, oh, they're all down below. Oh, wait, they're all up the vent now. It's, it's hard to call out. This, though, Nicely is done. great. Kerrigan and Wolfmeister with a kill each. Deagle and Scout and more to come. Wolfmeister deceptively hiding behind the life raft there. Not, Redemption. Yeah, not meant to save anyone at this moment. Shush now, one versus three. And with a Mac 10, Bombers inside. What do you want to do here? What is the... He's got time. That's maybe the only positive thing right now. I mean, it's almost a meme to say save the Galil, but... 1v3 with 40 seconds left. He can go for a peekaboo, and that's what he's hoping for. Yep, walks up. That's Just clean. catches rain. Yeah, that's so clean. Not sure if he realizes that's an AK down there. But, he will not. Uh, now if he has an AK to work with. It's doable, but nah. Yeah, man, that tag is so annoying. 69 damage for the memes. Just 20 the seconds. I don't know. I mean, again, oh, he actually gets one more headshot, but Kerrigan has relocated himself, and he's never going to guess it. He knew that was a scout. There's no way that he's going to be checking this, and oh, oh, when he misses the shot, that was worrisome, but it's a nice triple for... Pretty impressive stuff from Shush, uh, even as he did lose the round. Third one is coming up. We've got the single AK on Tessus, and then Deagles, Glock, Tech 9 on Stown as well. It's... Something to be feared, potentially. The big smoke wall, mollies, everything. You just got to see all the nades that Heroic get into the yard to just fully control that space. There isn't really many options for FaZe at that point. Oh. And so Heroic showing it. Oh, man. Through the smoke, Twist going to find a kill. Yeah, all that effort. <laughs> and still, they managed to lose a player. Rain, I like this. Good little bit of improvisation to look on top of it. Yep, he's well aware. They have such a good readout here, FaZe. They're not getting surprised by that aggressive AK. And now it's just a question of avoiding dodging the remaining two pistols here. Don't lose anyone if you could avoid it. We've already seen what happens on the CT side. If you run out of cash like they did in the last map. A refresh, not going to be able to connect with that one. Now it's just down. 45 seconds. Getting a little tour of the map over at ramp. A minute away from finding anyone still. I don't blame FaZe for not hunting or being too aggressive with finding him. I actually did get the pink on him there. But he's going to lose the round and no one from FaZe dies. Mm -hmm. Major. So there's a lot of tape to go off of True. where they're going to be prepared. And clearly, FaZe were pretty prepared for some of the strats that Heroic were throwing out on the T side of Mirage. Makes you wonder. Kerrigan's definitely not the guy to shy away from doing some homework. 
and Robon's gonna be there to help out as well. So could this be the chance here for FaZe? I mean, again, you, you don't really fool Kerrigan and Vito's. He's the one that fools you. Now, could he have baited them into picking this nuke play, thinking it's a safe pick, and yet he's here ready and waiting for him? It's definitely possible. I agree with what you're saying. I mean, yeah, he has got the depth for, for, for that kind of thing. And like you said, they played a lot heroic, so, you know, that makes it even more doable. Fair, they win a lot. They fair, do they win, win a lot. lot. You know, on nuke, it's definitely a winning map for them. It's just that there's a lot of tape to go off of, right? So, and all you need is one map. You know, it doesn't matter if they go on to win it three more times. As long as you win this once, phase, yeah, that's all you care about. Close to a five to one uh, betting odds there. So um, still looking a little bit grim if you were going off with that for phase. But they are up three to one in this map. All of my stuff. Nade bounce down. We'll do a bit of damage to Cadian. Not really a lot. That one though, definitely hurts. Let's see. Can they go for the retake? Full 5 on 5 retake with three people coming in from the high ground. Bit of a smoke. And that smoke is... I don't know. Mm. You want to risk it? They set up one of their own. Yeah, here we go. Full on retake. They don't want to wait. They want to go straight in. This is a very hard thing to get done on the CT side. And Shush is waiting down below. Yeah, cancel it off. They're like... <laughs> Olaf and Twist, you go look. And if it's dangerous, the rest of it will just walk away. Oh, Kerrigan's still hanging around here. Oh, clench. Not happening. Not happening. That's such a shame. Maybe the one kill, but then hanging around for more ends up costing them. A three player surviving would have been really nice there. I mean, they have good money phase. They'll be able to get a full buy going into the next round. But had they been able to save a third rifle, that would have been pretty good for the economy there for phase. So a little unfortunate. Obviously trying to make it more expensive for Heroic. But Heroic showing some fight. Two rounds on the board now on this T side. You know, Exist has always had that very stern look. We used to always try and find even a single tournament if he was smiling at all. Yes, but it was always the meme of, you know, all the emotions that exist. Exactly. But in the role of a coach, he's got that stern look. It's perfect. It's like he's made for it, you know. <laughs> I, I appreciate that. Here we go, sixth round, and a lot of spam coming through the smoke. It's Kerrigan to pick up the kill on refresh. They're still trying to get in here, and the flashes just never end. Twist couldn't see anything for a full five minutes inside. Brokey and Rain are going to be on their own two versus three, and I mean, they have time to try and look for a kill angle for something here. The smoke goes up. The timing is nearly good. Rain, he maybe could have caught Shushi that one moment. He was a tenth of a second off, maybe. And now Tess is going to be looking for it and finding Brokey as well. That's a nice round. That's tying it all up. Go from slow measured play to just bam, cranking it all the way up. No hesitation, straight out onto the upper side. And that's so hard to play around with because FaZe, you know, you're trying to kind of play clever with your nades. You know, trying to maybe save one here, save one there. But if you do that and they play fast, you can lose the round outright. So FaZe Clan now... It's not completely out of control just yet. They've gone for the Deagle buy. They've gone for a scoot on Kerrigan. But That's also the kind of confidence that comes with playing the map a lot, right? If you're heroic, you're like, well, we know this A rush. You know, we, we, yeah. we know all the flashbangs. I mean, I think Twist, he was flashed like two or three times in a row. And he's just sitting there, crouched, hoping that no one notices. But that only works with T-Rexes, you know? Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> sitting still. <laughs> Counter-Strike players can see it, whether you're standing still or uh, moving. They can, in fact, yes. <laughs> oh, it's so brutal. See, the, only, the, the next stage is to do what those guys have been doing, like the memes where, you know, they tape the LED lights around their monitors so when a flash goes off, it actually even blinds them in real life. I've seen that, yeah. On the one hand, it does look incredibly cool, but it also feels like you're kind of, <laughs> you know... Ridiculous. Yeah, you're, you're kind of designing an obstacle for yourself, really. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that would have been nice. I want to see the next version where away. someone gets like a smoke machine. Oh, dude, yeah, no, that's just just, just pouring just smoke completely out of hand, out of hand. But even though New Year's is coming up, don't do the grenade one uh, or the molly. Definitely leave those alone. <laughs> Olaf and Rain, two versus four. I was I was excited for a brief moment for uh, a bunch of headshots from Twist. It looked like he had the the kind of setup for it that where you could. You could get a couple in a row there. Didn't really work out that way. It means Heroic are going to be uh, leading now. Four to three. Rain could try and look for a rifle maybe on the ground if he's feeling real good about it. But um, other than that, yeah, they're just guarding everything. They don't want him to escape with anything. One more kill is not bad. Oh, that's frustrating. 
Tess is with a grin, but that one stings. You know, he's just smiling so you don't see that that, that one hurt a little bit. Because he should not be dying there. Yeah, they lose a little bit more, probably heroic than they would want. Only two people surviving. The phase, they are back with some more rifles. Can they can they hold them back this time? I feel like if they if they can't win this round, it's already three in a row for the heroic side. Leaning towards the ramp at the outset here. But you can see so many of the nades from phase are used in the first 10 seconds because they're so worried about the aggression. Yeah. That's that's the advantage of going for these quick changes of pace. Oh no. Oh Brokey. Brokey. He has no idea. He threw the flashbang to try and relocate himself up there, but they actually went while he was making that jump. So he doesn't even realize as they're making it around the corner that everyone is coming for him. That's devastating. Rain's got to be real careful out here as well. They are pushed up. Shush is looking for it, and he's been terrific, but Rain is just way too quick this time around. Then he gets back around the corner, smokes it off, and tries to escape. They need this round badly on the side of phase. They really oh, do a good dude. headshot. Second highest performer at the major reign. And uh, he's really coming to his own. He is a land player after all. I feel like he's one of those players who really suffered in the online era. But now that we're back on land, you get to really see what uh, the Norwegian can bring to the table. Still a real threat. Yeah, he really is. Um, fun to think about him and, uh, and Olaf Meister in the LGB yeah. days, you know? So crazy. That that's like one of those those orgs. When you look back, you're just like, that was a thing. LGB yeah. was a thing. And they were they were smashing. That was in the most one of the most competitive eras for uh, Swedish CS. It we was just had yeah. like all the teams. Nip, you know, and just everybody going hard. It was amazing. Alright. Absolutely pivotal round here. Ties the the score up. They steal single AK. They have that AWP on Brokey. This is where they need to, to just take control of the game. If they win this next one, the money is not good for Heroic. They probably can bounce from 4-4 to 6-4 in their favor. And uh, if they could do that without losing too many rifles all the way, then we've got a real foundation to build a, a half of a... Oh, <laughs> okay. There it is. Oh, and he spots the drop down from Silo as well. He knows that somebody's on mini. Yeah, oh, but oh. Tessa sees him too. Sick play from Tessa. This brings it right back. We're tied up four to four. So what we were talking about earlier is everyone on Heroic is at that level. It's like you, you think you've got the jump on them and somehow it doesn't work out. Brokey and Twist though, answering back in a forceful way. Stown and Kadian, they are not really next to each other. They're going to have to work individually to try and bring it back. And that's not happening either. Kadian taking a walk back into T-spawn. That's going to be a long wait. Why not? I mean, that AWP is uh, is expensive, so throwing it away probably is a, a bit of a shame. But yeah, this is the impromptu. Um, it's got the scenic view. timeout. Yeah, it's true. Going to just kind of sit back here for a minute, have a discussion about what you want to do next round. Great awareness from Tessas, knowing that Rain is going to be playing behind that container. But now, I mean, it, it feels. Man, why does it feel like we're watching Mirage all over again? You know, just tip bit, tap, yeah. back and forth. Like neither team able to really pull ahead just yet. I mean, it finished eight seven in the first half of Mirage, and I'm getting the similar vibes here between both of these teams for uh, Nuke, which is amazing considering. Uh, well, again, it's just reiterating on this storyline, right? That heroic. This is one of their home maps. No, no question about it. They play it loads. Definitely. But phase, they that that just means they have more opportunity to study and figure out what it is that heroic want to do on this T side. What are their go-to strategies? What are the comfort plays? And then if, once you counter those, it starts to get harder for heroic to get their the, the ball rolling. So guys like Roban and Kerrigan, that's what they do. They will go through those demos and watch and remember. Yeah, it's one of the most, you know, underreported parts of Counter-Strike is the kind of research that goes in. And I mean, obviously, for good reason, people don't want to share what they're doing. But uh, so much of the of, of it, it kind of gets gets done before the game even starts. And it is one of the more interesting parts, without a doubt. Tenth round is coming up as a one round lead for phase. They managed to save the AWP on Heroic, obviously. And they're looking to use it as a tool to open up the round with, which makes a lot of sense. Kerrigan getting kind of overwhelmed, jumping tech nines in his face. But tragically, the bomb is... The bomb made its way forward. It's been lost to them. 
and I have no idea how you would recover it here. Yeah, thank you very much. Perfect view of just how lost that bomb is in the middle of nowhere. Now you have to wrap Mini. Play off the AWP. Missed shot by Katie, and that's so unfortunate. Oh, but Rain spots dangerous. out the guy on Mini as well. Oh, if Rain would have gone down there, that actually would have been really dangerous. Dan had me real worried for a minute. Just a deep breath here. This is the other part of, of Kerrigan's leadership that you're going to be looking for, right? Calm everyone down in this situation. You have the cards on your hand. You've got the better weapons. Time is running out for them. They have to, You know where they have to end up, so just make sure they can't sneak around and let them try and, and show up. They don't have any nades either on the T side. I mean, this is all setting up real well for the phase side of things. Just oh. don't panic. Exactly. And Rain might very well get caught here. As the smoke clears, though, closes off that angle. Now it's on Brokey. First line of defense. Misses the first shot. Oh. The angle shot out from under him, though. All right. Twist is back. Determined to win the round. Absolutely brilliant. Triple kill. And Olaf will take down. It's clear that the Molly isn't covering all of Hut, so he's able to get in there faster than Heroic may be expecting. So let's see. Again, we have those smoke nades. Again, they're hoping to punish anybody getting frisky on the side of phase with the wall bangs there. Rain. Just trying to figure out what's going on behind the wall of smoke out in yard. And there's Brokey again with a chance and not hitting the shot. Yes, difficult flick to hit. Twist though in nice position. They line up in front and it's a triple at the end. Absolutely amazing. They just, that timing could not have been better. They knew they'd forced the AWP bank. They wanted to put, and they've been doing that a lot. They've been trying to push hell over there. And even though he was flashed, absolutely knockout play. Triple for him. Twist is 13 and 6 after that little engagement. <laughs> doing terrific work. And now, 6 4. What do you do if you're refreshing a 1v3? I mean, not a whole lot that you can do with 45 seconds left. Especially when the bomb is in that position. So there's no, there's no easy way into ramp, right? He, there's no way he can sneak his way through. So, yeah, he's just hoping that someone is way out of position and he can find a kill, make it a one versus two. It's unlikely. He's had a single chance there, but Rain will take him down seven to four. This is starting to look way better for FaZe. I'm impressed at the recovery here. They did lose three rounds in a row, remember? And and those were impressive rounds from the point of view of exactly what you're shooting at in front. You know, you should only see your teammates. It's definitely, definitely difficult. We've got more Tech Nines. I like it. I'm, I feel like they found a, a reasonable spot in the game right now. Tech Nines are not as overpowered as yeah. back in the prime, but... They're still definitely dangerous. Some random spam, some nades, some more bullets flying through the smoke out here, and it's a very soft heroic team that made their way past. <laughs> no one died, but three of them almost did. Rain is in a good position, though. He's hearing this, so yeah, they're going to be able to rotate down here, face clan. They know that they're... Oh, what a oh, shot from Shush! Oh, <laughs> that was disturbing. sick! They're jumping on top of all of Meister, but he's got his trusty buddy with him, Rain, able to pick up a couple of kills. It's now Kadian and Tess's. I can't believe this is a 2 on 2 but they should not be winning this round heroic. The bomb is planted, though. In the middle of all of that, they even got the bomb plant on top of it. One bullet for either player, and they're going to be out of it. And that's all they need. A single bullet. There's one. It was a headshot as well on Tess's. And now Kadian on his own. They have a Molotov. If they throw it at the right spot, he's dead no matter what. Kerrigan will find him. Scary round. Way, way, way too close. But um, it is eight to four. Way too close for comfort. But yeah, that's the thing. And here we're going to get the shot here from Shush. I right, get out of here. That is ridiculous. I right, fair play to Brokey. There's, there isn't a whole lot you can do against that. No, there. I mean, there isn't. The, I, yeah, that's, a, that's hard to explain, but well done, Shush. And that's off the back of... Faze having the early info. Rain being in a position to hear them running down, True. softening up Heroic to the max, essentially. I mean, you can't do much more damage without killing him. And then we still turn it into a two-on-two. -two. So terrific round for Heroic. They get the bomb plant. They get a full buy. Everything they need here in this round. Oh, Rain, I don't think he has any nope. idea. Nope. Gets caught by Tessus this time. There is just there's too many explosions out there. He has no idea. Making the jump down, though. Almost looked like he sacrificed himself to Brokey. The Molotov back there will force, well, stick Kadian around for a minute. 
Brokey, though, not aware that they were pushing up. He probably thought he had already caught Tessus and that was the front man and there was no one else going to follow. Nice read as well. KD into takedown. Kerrigan, captain versus captain. And now it's a two on four. He's already looking to pick up a fifth round here and it's looking really good for them right now. Twist is still alive, though, and he's been... He's been having himself some really impressive moments so far, so I don't want to count him out just yet. And Heroic have called for a huge pause, waiting to see if someone from FaZe is going to be wandering into a crosshair somewhere. Oh, finally, some information. They get rewarded for their patience. Spotting a man in hell, that gives them a little bit of room to work with here, Heroic. And wow, to say that you've been camping that spot for this entire time, Stavin, and Twist still shoots you in the back ridiculous he was not aware that there was a gap in the smoke i think so unfortunate he took a risk he wanted to he wanted to capitalize and close the distance from the first kill to the second and i can understand that but it is kadian to see the round i think he got a triple in that one he got carrigan too didn't he so pretty good round here for heroic five to eight we're getting into the last couple of rounds of the half here and unfortunately for FaZe, again, the money is not really with them. Oh, this is actually a disaster. They could end up... If this ends up 8-7, partly or maybe even mostly because of the economy, that would be so hard to stomach. Mm, it would be so fitting, though, considering the how it's played out. Yeah. You know, I feel like I'm watching Mirage all over again between these two teams, right? It's true. you got rounds breaking away. They're just so close. Rounds that shouldn't be close are close. And it's just it's all over the place, you know? And here we go. Kerrigan! Nearly getting a double. MP9 swinging around the corner. Just surprise, surprise moment. And a little bit of pressure getting put on this upper site here from Heroic. They don't have that many nades. So two Molotovs and some flashbangs in there. They have another set. So it could just be that, you know, they throw the first round. They wait. I mean, FaZe don't have any nades at all on their side. So that one doesn't do what they wanted either. It's getting more and more sloppy. awkward now. Yeah, it is. And they started to push in. All of my sisters playing deep in that angle. And, you know, people check this a lot. But if you do it once per half, you might get away with it. Although, shush. I feel like he's so accurate on those entries. They make the jump down and Rain will catch shush as he falls. 45 seconds. It is still a three on three. One of them has already crossed. And second one, Refresh, doesn't think to look. Kadian kicks open the door and takes down Brokey. And he's ready. He's trying to catch them. He knew, but it doesn't matter. The bomb is on the ground. Twist showing up. With that absolute lethal accuracy. Stalin is behind them, so they got to be a little bit careful. If he had been there f five seconds earlier, maybe he could have shot a both in the back. Got the AWP very low on health, and this does not seem winnable on any level. Phase, if they can come up with this one, and they will, nine to five. That is a, that's an absolutely critical round. So the teams are fully equipped, essentially. Just a little light on nades for Phase. But Heroic have to go for a Galil just to be able to afford a full buy. Kerrigan. No chance, though. Just patient play. And Heroic, you know, there was a lot of... Uh, a lot of aggression from them at the beginning of the half, but uh, that has certainly changed going towards the end of it. Much slower. Just a bit, right? They have to keep it cool because... Again, when you're lacking some of those nades, and especially if you're, if you're worried about FaZe having too many, uh, too many Molotovs to throw at you, maybe you just uh, don't want to risk it. Mm -hmm. Let's see, Brokey, that's an, that's a curious that is a smoke. Weird smoke, but it was thrown from the CT side, so I guess, it, I think it's intentionally one way like that. Kerrigan right in front, he's got Rain right behind him in mini, this could be a little bit of a setup without a doubt. Kerrigan, oh, faded into it, Tessas will take him down, and let's see, Twist up on the hut as well, there comes the crossfire, but they still fight their way through into a three on two, that's unbelievable, no scope, not hitting this time, are you gonna try it one more time, Kadian is there, he wants to take this fight as well, this is so awkward, and all of Meister goes down, there's nothing they could do, it's nine to six, and they're gonna be on the CT side now, trying to defend it. If they can win the pistol, then all bets are off. It's entirely possible once again that uh, that they will make the comeback. Nice start here. P250 out in the yard and taking down Refresh. Basically the best case scenario there for Kerrigan. Yeah. With that P250. Gives you that one-shot headshot at a greater range than the Glock. And that's exactly what he was hoping for. He wasn't hoping for that part. No. That wasn't on his list. Snuffs him. Stavin just drops him like a sack of potatoes. 
Nice flank coming in from Rain, though, and Kadian caught completely unawares. Oh, no. Oh, no. That lava really throwing him off. They're so quick when they're sort of either, you know, skating up or jumping off. It's just, he just couldn't just in time. Tessison's down two versus four as the bomb is planted here. Yeah, but this is looking like a brilliant start for FaZe. Maybe there really is a way that they could do this. Again, like you mentioned, I mean, this is a pretty much a home map for Heroic. If FaZe just come out of nowhere and beat them on it, that would certainly be interesting. It'd be amazing. I mean, one of the what a it would be a terrific upset to kick off the tournament within the first two best of threes. I mean, Vitality dismantled Liquid earlier in our first best of three of this tournament. Yes, they did. This is the second one, and if Phase, I mean, it just goes to show that man, if Mirage, if Phase don't fumble Mirage, just think of the different situation that oh, we could be yeah. in right now, where Heroic could be feeling insane pressure. Instead, Heroic are still up 1-0 in this map, and we may st we may actually get Inferno. Yeah, it's definitely possible now. Four Deagles, one five seven, some smokes as well on the side of Heroic in this round. So they've they've got some chances. They actually spent all of their money in this round, so could be could be dangerous. They had an interesting pistol round in the first half. We'll see if they have actual strategies or tricks in a round like this. Those smokes, I suppose, are just really for buying time. You could see them sort of smoking off the squeak door. Probably going to try and keep doing that for as long as they can. Yep. Yeah. Stop any kind of pops through there. Yeah, there we go. And in the meantime, FaZe content to sit and wait for the aggression from Heroic as we approach the minute mark. It's about now where Heroic on their CT side, it would be true to form for them to start pushing for information on the map. Yeah. Bit of a jump. No connection on that deagle. Door is gone, though. What did that door do to you? I don't know. Vandals. Rain will take down Tessa's shush. So flashed and doesn't get a chance with that 5-7 either. Stands outside. You need to win a single isolated fight out there, but shouldn't make a big difference. Bomb is on the side, but they're being really careful about not uh not over, not getting too crazy with the bomb plants and not just rushing in there they really want to make sure that they're not giving away anything here <laughs> the bait and switch yeah please push me push me he really wants to well they will eventually but they're just increasing the odds that they can actually win the fight here down below brokey galil in hand no that's unfortunate anything can happen even with usps but this is a hard eco coming up here from heroic so phase you don't get any easier rounds than this one flashbang headed to the ramp i like it yeah a little bit of the a little bit of the trap set shush keeping an eye on upper making sure that uh they can't get out totally for free and without being noticed and in the meantime rest of the team gathered up on ramp just hoping that uh phase this is where they were going to hit and it's not unfortunately yeah but it's fine i mean it's 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 always worth it 200 uh, dollar investment if it turned out that way you would have been in a good position Brokey, i think smartly trying to shield himself with the smoke and he's just not gonna find him okay a lot of bullets with the usb to get that one but this should... long range mac 10. yeah it's so stressful some players just uh, know how to do that. 12 to 6 scoreline is... I know we've been joking about FaZe kind of throwing away some of these... Some of these maps, you know, right at the end. But that's a, that's a sizable buffer, right? That's a pretty big lead. You just need four more rounds after that. No, absolutely. I mean... <sighs> It's still heroic, and if they can hold on to this Galil, actually, from down, this would be pretty slick, but it's not going to be the case. Do we lose Refresh as well? Refresh just wants to die to anybody but the MAC-10. Unfortunately, he dies to the MAC-10, so be with heroic here. Yeah. And it's a question of how polished the T-side is going to be for FaZe. You're right, though. They only need four rounds. And really, they only really need, like, two against full buys. Yeah, I'm, that's so, even worse, isn't it? Yeah, if you have if you have a good strategy, if you're FaZe Clan and you predicted that nuke was coming, and you have a good strategy ready to go, let's see it. Nice Molotov into the corner, but they managed to put it out in time, so it doesn't actually get the kill on refresh there, and the defense is holding real strong at the beginning here. Their first real rifle buy here in the second half, and 
So far, they've won every single fight. Two versus five right now. Brokian Twist. Not going to be able to do too much here. Maybe some damage could be done. They're making the jumps past. Baiting out that shot for uh, Kadian. He's not even falling. He doesn't have anyone to back him up. He's just sticking around pretending that he does. And that's actually going to catch them. I don't even blame them. I would have thought either he's going to run or there's going to be a second player to help him. But he just did that on his own, which is crazy. Fighting him and ultimate and yeah, yeah, no, no, getting the crunch, or rather, yeah, yeah, I agree. It's just <clears throat> a little off on the timing, perhaps. Quite possibly. All right, refresh goes down at the beginning. All of my stuff could even be a kill out here, but didn't quite check it. It looked like maybe, maybe the smoke was just covering Carrigan a little bit as he was walking around the corner there. So that's unfortunate. Four versus four. And they are down below. They've left all of my stuff behind to make sure that no one's sneaking up behind them. But the rest of them are going to try and see if they can get this bomb plant down right quick before anyone else from Heroic shows up to defend. Tesses, though. Good kill on one. But Rain going to do one even better. And a double frame headshots on that AK. They know that Lord is out here. But, I mean, all right. I was going to say they're spending time finding him. Not that much time, it seems. That's, that's why you wanted to stay alive, right? As long as he just lives, they have to go and look for him. Two versus two now. Stown coming in on the one side. Katie ain't going to be found. And that might just be the round here. FaZe might be taking one big step in the direction of Inferno. Rain comes up with a quad kill. He's about be the question of whether or not they can get the follow-up here. Because, again, Heroic survived with all five alive in the round prior to this. They have a full buy going into this one. Nice nades, though. Full-on bombardment catching Katie and out in front of the squeak door. That is awesome. Refresh down to one health as well. Yeah, that actually worked so much better than I was expecting. Stown, they're going to go check. Yes, they will. One on top of the box and twist. Well, he uh, kind of got the rough end of the deal. There. Yeah, he just did. Unfortunate. Three versus four. But like you said, Refresh is practically dead. Rain is all the way dead. And that's the power of having one health and an AWP. I mean, in some ways, it is just a, a, a big equalizer. Back into a three on three now. This started so well for FaZe. If they lose this gain of this lead now, could just be a little bit awkward. Olaf flashed in, so they know that someone is there. Still has the better angle against Shush, who's coming in, only head showing. And they're going to make the jump down. That's definitely being heard. Yep, Tess is going to be calling it in, but what can Refresh do? He can't really run here, so Tess is on his own, and they're going to make the jump past. There's one kill. He gets the follow-up, and there is no Carrigan nearby. He needed to be right then and there. Did they line up? Oh, this is so dangerous. They almost lined up for the spray. They could have both been dead right then and there. 19 health, 1 health. Yeah. That's unreal. And now Kerrigan is in such a tough spot. 24 seconds left on the clock. He's going to get spotted, and there's no way for him to go. He wanted to escape to A. The real frustrating thing there, you know, that he gets the one kill, okay, fair enough. But that he gets both, FaZe Clan missing out on another huge chance to close it, to seal the deal and force a third map. Ooh. Auto oh. shutting. Well, okay, Hitting up. Couple of kills. That is now obviously started the half with a six-round difference, so... They are closing it heroic. They're getting getting uncomfortably close, in fact. FaZe. Don't do this to us. I know, right? Just watching it all slip through your fingers one round at a time. I mean agony. It is this time flash that lets him get up high. Oh, does he see this coming though, Rain? Timing is everything. And it's whether or not Tessa decides to get aggressive. Tessa's instead of just playing it passively, waiting for his teammates. Not overcommitting. <laughs> Just a silent standoff out here. Nobody wants to make that mistake. And they are actually calling this freeze all across the map right now, FaZe. They're, they're worried about the lobby push as well. You could tell on the other side that they're, they're kind of set up for that. And Tessa's just waiting for a long, long time. Rain is starting to make his way a bit closer. Some noise being made in A, but we can tell that's not where they're going to be immediately attacking. The bomb is still far back, and Tessas is going to find the perfect timing. Rain is down, and now the bomb is outside of T-spawn still, so they need to do something. Kerrigan is snuck deep in on the CT side of the map, but they're losing players too rapidly. They still need the bomb. Yeah, Kerrigan, he's all the way out here. He can walk up right behind Stown, so he's not even checking. He doesn't know. Oh, that is unfortunate, and now the round is definitely done. Wow. This is just, it's so painful. 
it endless is. pain. I mean, <laughs> feels like some, uh, I don't know, like metal band or something like that. There was, you know, it's just the, the title, the title of the album. <laughs> but uh, heroic right now. Uh, they're just inflicting so much hurt on FaZe Clan. Like, look, Shush is so just brazen that he goes out there with an auto shot and looks for long range fights. Nice, man. <laughs> there you go. They're loving it. Yeah. Stown is like, wait a minute, you're not wearing the right uniform. You don't belong here. Mm hmm. No, that's so, I mean, just Kerrigan can't catch a break. And now we get out into the yard where it's just going to be pistols here for FaZe Clan. Don't have a whole lot to work with in this round. And they're, at this point, just kind of hoping that they're going to be able to put a stop to that because they're not going to have any easy rounds now. No, they forward. really won't. That part is done. That's true. And you can tell that Heroic's confidence in their defense and, and how much they you mentioned it, they've been playing this map so much. So they know exactly how good they are. And they're kind of displaying it round for round here. Now, the Deagles, if anything, need to do some damage here. They need a couple of kills, preferably three, but at least two in this round. They have to keep that Heroic economy low because this is now obviously going to go the full distance. You can tell Heroic are, are at least going to hit 30 rounds in this one. And at the end, it's going to make a big difference whether or not Heroic have real money to buy or if they are going to be, you know, slightly broken. That's the only thing FaZe must be thinking about right now. Just let's just find a way to make sure that they don't have that strong economy, which they already kind of do. But, um, yeah, everything matters here. Stown continuing his reign of terror. Triple kill for him in this round, and it's 13-11. They have a disgusting amount of money on that CT side now. It's a temporary thing. It's gone away on its own. That'd be amazing. Yeah, or that, you know, he finally changed the grip, and he's not going full goblin anymore, and he's got a little bit more of a, I don't know, claw or something like that. Because uh, that, that just, just looks, I mean, it just hurts my hand even trying to replicate it. I know, I try to do it sometimes just to, and I'm like, I have no idea how, like, or even 10, twists, 10 minutes. Even twists way is, like, uncomfortable. I don't get it. I don't know. Maybe once you learn, you just, you can't unlearn it. 25th round. It is 11 to 13. FaZe is still in the lead, but... I don't know how comfortable that lead feels anymore. They're going to try and see if they can crunch the bomb site. That was a team flashbang, though. He will still get the kill on refresh. Up on high, Tessis. That's tremendous. Absolutely amazing spray transfer. He probably or maybe could have saved them here. Stal, no. Oh. That's a big mess up. He's lucky to still be alive. The nade could kill Twist if he has the right timing for it. And he's waiting for Katie to walk in on the other side. That's a very, very awkward battle right there. Oh, and Acadian missing a shot. What is happening? He's trying to get the wall bang in, but not really connecting here. Twist is down below. Yeah, that's the right idea. It's going to land right on his face. That is such a good underhand. And now it's all on rain. He tries with a one tap, but he's missing all the bullets. And finally, going to get one. Stout is not in the fight. Why is he not peeking? And there it goes. It'll still be heroic to win the round, but... That was... There's a lot of ugly counter-strike in the last 20 seconds oh, of this round. Man, and that is a... The only upside here is that it takes a huge chunk out of the heroic economy, right? They end up in a one-on-one, -on -one, That's the and, and you got the bomb plant down on the face side. They're going to try and see if they can crunch the lobby. Shush, able to do that against all of my the holding it on his own. Used to be... Still is one of my pet peeves on this map, holding lobby alone. Yeah, yep. Yeah, this is about one of those times why. where it... Uh, exactly. It works against all of and he gets overwhelmed. And Heroic now starting to feel it as well. Calling an aggressive play like that when they're on a on a hot streak. Sick round. Kadian. Ah, not going to miss the shot. Yeah, good Two job. Man advantage now for Heroic in this round. And FaZe are kind of just walking, sleepwalking their way through this round. They're just getting picked off one at a time. Yeah, no resistance. And, you know, from having that... That, that four man kill or the four kills in lot at the moment. It's amazing. Uh, yeah, no, it is. I mean, talk about utterly brutal. Six rounds in a row now for Heroic. More damage getting cranked out. Oops. Two kills coming through, however. Yeah, one of them a team kill. No, no, that's not good. <laughs> that is right. Oh, wait, what? How does he live? He just froze in time with the knife. I was like, oh, if I don't move, maybe they won't shoot at me anymore. And he was right about that somehow. 
Sadly, Tessus is alive to shoot at Kerrigan. And Kerrigan was moving way too much. No yeah. smoke. That's the take too much away. movement. And the Tech-9 is not going to be good enough either. Uh, 16 to 14. I'm in favor of Heroic. That this is just, this was all going according to plan for FaZe. Yeah. You now that they're, they're just like, okay, we'll get Mirage and then Heroic. We'll pick Nuke. We'll leave Nuke in it. They'll think that that's a winning pick for them. It went according to plan right up until the moment when it didn't. <laughs> exactly. Precisely. That is, uh, that is how it goes sometimes. Oh, Kerrigan got a nice little cheeky line up there. No smoke. Massive gap in the smoke wall, so there's a lot of information gained here for Heroic. You're seeing that nobody's crossing yard towards Secret, and that gives a lot away. Here we go. Trying to see if they can break that A defense once again. Shush gets taken out. Oh, it's a big opening right now. Stown, he gets two in return, and Kerrigan, what is happening with his mouse? Freaking out. Please. I feel like um, that needs to be looked at. Whoa, 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 whoa. Tess has what a duel. No way. It, it gives a chance. The problem is Kadian would be retaking Mini with an AWP on the other side. Kind of a tricky uh, proposal here. Tess says he's going to win the fight against Olofmeister and Kerrigan. He's going to be so careful to get shot in the back and they lose the round anyway. It I always wonder how Kadian is left with a voice after each event. Seriously. I have no idea. He must be used to it by now. It looked like there was a small earthquake happening when that was going on. It was crazy. Seriously. 29th round, ladies and gentlemen. It is not that far away, and Kadian will open up, taking down Kerrigan out in the yard. And he can't really see if there's much else going on out there, but FaZe have got to feel pressure to do something now, because when those smokes fade, Heroic will know that no one else is yard, and then they can probably guess where the rest of it is going to be happening. They've made the jump down. They're all going to be going for the B-bomb side. Tessis is calling it in. He's going to go for the fight. They line up for it. Near double kill. All of my is surviving on four health. They can maybe get a quick bomb plant here, although Refresh is on the other side, busting open the door, and the timing is dead on perfect for a double. And it's all off on his own. Four health, one versus three. Absolutely and definitely unwinnable here. They have to just wait him out. He has to go for the bomb plant eventually. Just make yourselves hard to find. And